KSL News at 10 starts now. Gosh, it's covered the road. It's got to cover the road. Take a look at that. The ground shaking and a massive dust cloud filling the air this afternoon in Zion National Park. Those hiking nearby trails capturing the video of this impressive rock slide here. A new specialist Brittany Tate spoke with those who watched the mountain crumble. She joins us live. Brittany, what was the reaction from those inside the park? Well, Mike and Dini, everyone said the same thing. They said it sounded like the deepest and the loudest crash of thunder that they had ever heard. Now, those I interviewed today, they say that they recognize that they witnessed something historic. Oftentimes, massive landslides like this are not caught on camera. Gosh. It's covered the road. I can't believe we're experiencing this. Nature put on quite a show in Zion National Park Tuesday. It was my first time to go to Angel's Landing. And for Cindy Olshafer and her friend Susan Grove. The chains are, we were up there and we were almost to the very top and we hear this thunder. <laughs> it sounded like thunder. There's a road there. They had the best view in the park. Whipping out their cameras, they captured the mountain come tumbling down. And it was, it was scary at first. And I was worried that somebody would get hurt that was at the bottom. That was the real mm -hmm. concern we both had. Zion National Park officials reported zero injuries, most likely because this exact spot had a massive landslide four years ago, and much of the trail has been closed since then. The same thing happened in August of 2019, and I've you know been telling my guests about it for years, but to actually like witness that was was unreal. I could be in there for the next 100 years and never see anything like that again. Nolan Hansen has led hundreds of tours through Zion National Park and he has never seen an avalanche happening, you know, at, you know, 2,000 feet and just coming all rock. The magnitude it was surreal that happened this afternoon. When you're in a place like Zion and you're in nature, anything could happen. And back here live, the Weeping Rock Shuttle Stop parking area and trail will remain closed while these park scientists can assess the rocks and the debris. Uh, today, shuttles only shut down for about 90 minutes, and we're so glad that nobody was hurt. What remarkable video. Back to you, Dini. Right. Remarkable video and that no one was hurt. Best of all outcomes. Brittany, thanks.